Hey, I'm Brandon Boyd. Today, we're gonna break down a bow or goat. We're gonna go through the whole process and cut it up and get it ready for wrapping. So, this is my setup when I'm butchering game or a goat or a lamb and you, you wanna be able to be as clean as possible. Uh, with this setup, I'm able to skin the goat or lamb and get it completely eviscerated into a garbage can. And this, this goat was actually skinned and gutted and there is basically no garbage, nothing. This, this hasn't even been washed down. So um, the, the beauty of having a lift like this is you're able to go up and down as you um, skin your animal out. So it makes it more ergonomically easy for you. You're not bent over doing it the whole time. And the, the, the lift is a $150 Harbor Freight uh, cable lift. Best money you'll ever spend if you're butchering. What we have here is about a 100 pound bow or goat. Um, and it's a, you can see there's some pretty good fat on this. So we're gonna break it down. And that breakdown process is gonna be pretty quick. And you can do this at home very easily. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the neck. What we're going to do is we're going to break down the shoulder. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this shoulder down and we're going to come out with the shoulder. So what we're, we want to do is we want to count between this, you want to count and put your knife between the fifth and sixth rib. So we're going to split this open a little bit more. We're going to count for the fifth and sixth rib. Five, six. Just take your knife, poke right through, and come up. We'll do the same on this back side. Okay, now we've got that slit. We can follow that right to the backbone. And it's just cartilage so you can push right through. Just like that. Now, you can take your saw. There we have our front shoulder section. Put in your bucket. All right, now we're gonna cut the saddle out here. That is going to be your chops, kind of like your lamb chops. So there's a final rib in here. What you're gonna do, come right up from that, straight up. So right in here, if you look, Little bit of fat there. You got your final rib here. Put your knife in. Just cut straight up. All right, now we can flip this carcass over. Right across there. And usually easier if you cut it from the inside. Here's our rib section. Okay, now here's kind of the back saddle here. Here's, here's where you get your porterhouse steaks out of this thing. So what I like to do is just cut the skirt off. Just cut it off of there. And then if you look at this, 
you've got this meat comes up right along the hip there. So you can feel the hip bone. Just take your knife, find the hip bone, and follow it over. Just like that. go. Just roll those up so you can see there is your chop right there. So when you cut that, this is your back strap piece. These are your tenderloins. So you get two pieces of meat on there. So when it comes out on this side, you have your chop with the tenderloin underneath, which makes it a basically a, a T-bone steak or a porterhouse. All right, now we're down to pretty much just the legs. So what we're gonna do is draw a line with our knife and cut between the legs there. And then right, right here, we have a little tailbone. And it's gonna be a lot easier to cut this with a saw if we get rid of that tailbone. So we're just gonna Try to find the vertebrae and pop that sucker out of there. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. There we go. There's the tail piece. I like to run my knife down and make sure I got straight bone where my blade's gonna hit. And then we can get rid of some of this fat there. Down right through the pelvis. There we have it. Two legs. Well, it can go right in there. <clears throat> now, let's get down to breaking this down to smaller pieces. So we've got the shoulder section, the neck. All we're going to do with the neck is trim it up, and we'll basically make mince out of it. You could take this and do a roast out of it if you wanted. So what we'll end up doing is just shaving all this off. You can make curry out of it or stew, whichever you want to do. All right. So we're going to split this shoulder in half. Let's take our knife and go right down the breastbone. A straight cut. And then same thing. We're going to come up the neck. All right, that's the easy part. Now we're going to cut straight down through the backbone. So we have the two shoulders here. Now we can put those aside with our legs. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down these backbone sections. So we've got that saddle and we've got this chop saddle. And there's a little bit of inner skirt here we can cut out if we wanted, but right now we're just gonna go for it. So we're gonna take our knife, score that. On the backbone. Hold on. 
Okay. two rib chops. Next we're going to do the saddle part. Same thing. broke down, ready for the cutting, cutting board. Okay, first off, we're gonna break down the shoulder. And uh, after you're done breaking it down, you can worry about cutting off all the extra fat on it and all your trimmings. So first things first, I like to get rid of this and get that out of there. So. Let's get the arm out, and what I like to do is right here, you can cut, because really an arm on an animal like this is not really joined to the body besides with muscle. So cut it a little bit, give it a stretch. I'm gonna flip it around and cut right under the scapula. There we go. And you can just follow that right up there. And you'll see just the edge of the Scapula, the shoulder blade there. Okay, there it is. There's the arm right off of there. Now what we have here is we have some ribs. So we're going to break this down to basically a shoulder chop. So we're going to take our knife and cut right along the rib joint here. All right, and that just comes right off. Just like that, there's a little more scrap meat on there for your mince. Okay, so each rib here has some meat on it. If you want to barbecue these, they're pretty good to barbecue. What I like to do is cut down each rib here. Just like that. Now each rib separated, okay. And don't fool yourself. Barbecue goat meat's great. We're just gonna cut those like that, and then we're gonna break out the beaver cleaver here, and we won't get a bunch of bone dust on our meat. So we'll get out a rubber mallet right through that, right through that. There we go. Now we got four rib chops out of there, and these are great to barbecue. So we'll stick them in our bowl here. And then this piece here, this is your shoulder that's left over. You can just cut all of that out. So if we were going to take this down and use it for meat for stew or curry or whatever you want to mince up, you can cut all the fat off of it. Um, one thing you want to make sure you get rid of is this neck tendon. And so it's kind of like a big piece of elastic. Get rid of that. And then you can pretty much go through this with your knife. And a good boning knife is able to get around all those bones. So you can pretty much take this whole thing right off the bone pretty quick. Just 
like that. Now we got nothing but meat and the bone, and there's a little bit of meat on here left. Boil that up, make a goat steak out of it. All right, so let's move on to the rib section here. All right, here's our rib. So what we're gonna do, let's just cut this flap off from the diaphragm and then what we're going to do for the rib chops is we're going to cut straight across here and we'll have a little bit of bone with that rib if you wanted to cut straight through here you could so you could take this go right through the rib joint there get rid of that piece mince that up later you can cut this off a little higher if you want and have some ribs for the barbecue there's some nice fat on those so you're able to have some moisture in your meat what i like to do is just ding the meat right where I'm going here then I can see it on the back side hopefully so there's our little cut mark there so now I know we can cut all the way through this and this is where we're going to use the saw again so you want to try to make sure you get as much flesh off of that bone where that saw is cutting okay the hardest part is holding on to this we go so now you got a little rack of ribs for your <coughs> barbecue throw it in a crock pot whatever you're gonna do now we've got a nice little uh, rack of lamb I guess so you call it a goat rack but what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut each one out and make chops so let's take our knife let's sharpen it real quick So, same with the ribs we just did. I'm just going to cut in between each one. Try to make it somewhat equal. Okay. Now, see how that comes out a little bit off there in the back? Just kind of fudge it a little bit. Okay, so we've got that rack is actually all separated out. So now we can go ahead and beaver cleaver it. Look at that, all those nice goat chops. Look at that, and great fat marbling in there. Those are perfect. So when you trim these, you wanna trim them to cook. You wanna make sure you get this piece of elastic like tendon out of there. Um, and I always just trim that out of there. If you don't like a lot of fat, trim the fat out, but you wanna get that big old grisly piece out of there. So there's some chops. Next up is that saddle. So look at the fat that grows around the kidneys here on this. So some of these you can see a ton of fat in here. And that's not a bad thing. If you like to make soap, make some soap. Okay, so what you wanna look at is you've got the meat that comes all the way to here and to there. So we're gonna get rid of this flat. Now, some sometimes you could actually cut the bone away and roll this whole thing up in this nice skirt here and you could tie it and make a roast out of it but that's not what we're doing today so today what we're going to do is we're going to make some porter houses so I'm going to cut right there so we just cut right along the edge of that end of the meat there and then look at that fat in there so this you could cut up I would take some of this fat off cut it up and make mince out of it and then this one's a little harder to see where your ribs are and there's really no ribs so you're going off the vertebrae here to split these up but what I usually do is I like to make these about an inch thick if I can it gives them a little more cooking time so we're going to cut that go another inch cut that 
Go another inch, just right on top of that bone. Cut that one. And then we'll cut this one just a hair thinner. All right, spin it around, finish your cut. Okay, same thing, cleaver it. Look at those. There's your porterhouse. That one's a little bit thin, but look at those. Super piece of meat. These are awesome to eat. Again, throw them on the barbecue. All right. Now, we're halfway done. We're down to the back leg here. So you've got a hip bone in here. You've got this knee bone. So let's start with breaking this down here. Um, what I basically like to do we'll just get rid of that right now and then this piece here we'll skin it off make some curry out of that so what we're going to do is we're going to cut right across this knee and there's a joint in here somewhere See if i can hit it right there so you hit that joint just right you go through it and basically all this meat here is our mince stew curry taco Whatever you're going to do with it. And there it is. We're down to the bone. And we've got a nice piece of meat. All right. So now what we have is we've got this hip bone to get rid of. So what I like to do. Now, if, if you wanted to do a bone in roast, you can do a bone in roast. And you can actually take the bone that goes along here. And that bone actually runs up in between these two muscles. And you can actually get a couple roasts out of here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna debone it. We're gonna debone the leg bone out of there and you'll have a nice piece of meat. You can either make steaks out of it, you can wrap it up as a roast, but you, once you debone it, you can put your seasoning in there in that bone channel. So we're gonna debone it just so you can see it. There's a ball to work around right in there. Come up and around that hip bone right there. And that hip bone just falls right up. Kind of a little hump there. This is where you want to pay attention to where your fingers are. So you're basically, this is a boning knife and exactly what you're doing, you're following bone. So you want your knife to be somewhat flexible to follow along that bone. All right, so look, at we've got this hip bone pretty much free. We're going to cut the joint of this leg ball so you can see here how easy this comes out. you go so there's your hip bone you can pick whatever meat off of it or boil it like I said so now what we're left with is this leg bone that's in there so we're gonna strip that bone out just follow the bone
knob there. in there there's the leg bone all right there's our leg roast so <coughs> excuse me so if we want to do this into some steaks that's what we're gonna do we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make some steaks out of here so we can take this imagine there's the hip bone so we're gonna switch from our boning knife to our breaking knife and I'm just gonna cut straight across here okay and there's we got a piece you could make a roast out of. You might be able to cut some thin steaks out of there. And then we've got this big piece here. So you see there's three different sections of meat here if we separate these. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut along this. I'm gonna separate this middle piece of meat. Okay, so we can actually take that side off. I'm just gonna cut along here. You can see the natural break here in the leg. All right, so we're just going to cut that. All right, now we have three pieces of meat out of there. Okay, let's get rid of this hunk of fat with a little bit of meat on it there. Okay, now we can cut some steaks out of this. So we do this. Just cut your first sacrificial one and then cut your next one. go there's the last little one there all right here's this next piece we'll just square it up looks like we've got a big piece of fat in the middle here you can see just roll that out Okay, you can always trim your steaks after the fact. So there's our first sacrificial slice. Now we're going to do another, just like that. And even though these are leg steak, they're nice and tender. This goat was not a year old, so still a very tender goat. And then there's a little bit of mince left over. So, this is a quick breakdown of how you can break down your lamb or goat, even a deer, if you wanted to do a deer with bone in. Um, but th this was half the goat we just broke down, just like that. So the laborious work is, is obviously getting all of your fat off of everything, um, mincing it up. If you have a meat grinder, that's great. <laughs> I don't have a meat grinder, so I do it all with uh, knives. So, um, and this is, I'm not a butcher. Uh, this is what I do for my family. So we take these goats, raise them, sheep, deer, elk, whatever we're gonna butcher, and uh, put it in our own freezer. So I saved myself quite a bit of money doing this. If you paid a butcher to do this, uh, come and kill your animal and butcher it for you, you're probably looking at 150 bucks. So um, this took me an hour. So uh, you can wrap it yourself, put it in your freezer, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Thanks.